Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2015 Volkswagen Jetta. This one is a 2.0 S model. As you can see, it is finished off in a black exterior, which is a very nice clean looking color on the Jetta. You really cannot go wrong with a black Volkswagen. On the driver's side of this vehicle, as you can see, the windows have been tinted on this one, but they are tinted to the legal Virginia limit of 50% up front and 35% on the rear windows, which gives this car a very nice clean look. On the driver's side, you can see your body colored door handles, as well as your black mirrors up front, which is why I said black looks very clean on this car because it blends a lot of the trim together. Down below, this one is riding on Bridgestone Ecopia tires, which are in great shape. They are 195-65R15s, so you do have 15 inch uh, steel wheels on this one with your wheel covers right there. Around the rear, dual tipped exhaust down below and your Jetta badge right there. Another thing for the Mark 6 is you do get an actual trunk release up there on the trunk which I will get to later in the video. The vehicle is locked at the moment. You can see your fuel cap on the passenger side and everything else follows through over here too. Halogen headlights, chrome accented grille. Start this one up, it does include your typical Volkswagen key fob, which is the switch plate with lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. And inside this one does have the Titan black cloth interior. And I have to say, stepping in, this being the base model Jetta, but also being the 2015 refreshed model, this vehicle actually comes with a lot of very nice and kind of unexpected standard features. But like I said, manual driver's seat, and it is the cloth interior, but it's a nice high quality cloth. This one also does include your set of all weather mats from the factory. Go ahead and start it. Just insert the key right here. And we'll go ahead and close the door. Now, stepping inside of this Jetta, the first thing you'll notice inside of here is you do just have the standard steering wheel with your cruise controls, uh, audio system controls, and then more of your Bluetooth phone and controls for the center display right there with some piano black trim on the wheel. That being said though, the two liter Jetta actually does include hydraulic power steering and it's such nice, responsive, and actually pretty heavy steering. It really does wake the vehicle up and it feels great going down the road. This honestly has better steering than the regular 2.5 Jetta did uh, for 2015. On the door panel itself though, I mean all the interior qualities are pretty much what you'd expect from the Jetta, but down here you do have padded armrests and all of that. Um, all four of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that. The mirrors are as well are uh, heated. Storage down below, your headlight controls over here as well as gauge dimmer. On the dashboard, once again everything follows through pretty much as you'd expect. You get this nice looking trim on the dashboard and the door panels. In the middle you can see your gauges right there with your speedometer and tachometer center display which you can scroll through from uh, right here and change which w what will uh, come up on that display. You can bring up your average MPG, distance to empty, average speed, digital speed readout, or like I said the outside temperature. Passenger airbag on and off indicator in the center as well as your hazards, two air vents, and I have to say too this vehicle has fantastic air conditioning. It really gets cool quick and it cools down the cabin very quick as well. Tinted windows too make a huge difference with that. Down below this one does have the standard audio system from the factory, but it really is a typical Volkswagen. It's a great sounding system. Your CD player up top and it also does include an auxiliary in, as well as Bluetooth with Bluetooth audio streaming, AM, FM, media, all of that, and it sounds great like I said. Down below there, single zone manual climate control. All very simple to use as well though, and the knobs have a nice responsive feel to them too. They actually do feel like they're connected to something. Down here, more storage, um, 12 volt outlet, auxiliary in, and then this one is equipped with the six speed automatic transmission with manual mode right there and sport mode. Two cup holders with your little feelers inside that will keep drinks in its place no matter uh, the size. Also for 2015, the base model Jetta did get a center armrest. So you do have storage inside of there and the armrest itself is very, very nice and padded. Seats in this vehicle are comfortable. They're a high quality, very durable feeling cloth and they just fit you very, very well. Um, up top you do have all of the interior lighting controls, things like that. This one does include a sunglasses container as well. Visors up top with your vanity mirrors built in and handles on each side. 
And overall, the interior of the Jetta really is not a bad place to be. It's very comfortable too, especially for tall drivers. So we'll go ahead, put the driver's side automatic window down, unlock all the doors. You can release the trunk from right here as well. And pop the hood. Now, one of the biggest advantages of the Mark 6 Jetta, and these cars actually did win awards for it when they first came out, is the back seat. And these cars really do have the best-in-class uh, rear seat legroom. Like I said, I'm 6'2". This front seat is adjusted to where I would sit. And stepping back here, you can see very easy entry and exit. The tinted windows as well look fantastic. But I'm 6'2", and I fit back here perfectly fine. I can fit behind myself perfectly fine. I have plenty of headroom as well, especially since this is a model without a sunroof. You have your interior lighting controls up here. And the seat itself, too, is pretty comfortable. It's actually uh, very nice and plush, and the same durable fabric is up front. Two storage containers and a 12-volt outlet right there. But really, especially if you've owned a Mark IV or a Mark V Jetta, because my family used to have a Mark V Jetta, and that car really did not have a good back seat. I could barely fit back there, and that was years ago, too, when I was smaller. So if you really are looking for a car with rear seat legroom and you've test-driven older Jettas, give the Mark VI a chance, because it's a very comfortable back seat. And this car actually could be pretty capable as a uh, people hauler. Once again, too, soft padded armrests on the back doors and storage down there. Inside the trunk, like I said too, the Mark VI did gain a actual trunk release on the trunk itself. Up top you can see this is lined with plastic and you do get little grab handles to bring it back down. Storage inside, fantastic amount of space in typical Jetta fashion. Also down below in typical Volkswagen fashion, you do get a uh, full size spare tire, not just a donut, as well as your jack storage and everything else right there. You can pull this and it will drop the rear seat down. Fuel cap right here, just walk up and press to release. And right here, as I said, the back seat does fold down. You have to pull it from the trunk and actually push on the seat to get it to fold down, but it does work. And inside of here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature and everything like that, as well as your state inspection certificate and even a lot of the tags and stuff like that from when the car was brand new. And you can see what I mean too about even this being the base model, all the typical Volkswagen qualities are still there. The glove box is nice and damped when it opens and you get a fantastic amount of space inside, as well as a place to put a pin, something like that, we'll hold it there, even a little card holder and change storage over here. Up front, this one does have halogen headlights, as well as under the hood. It does have Volkswagen's two-liter four-cylinder, but everything under here is in great shape, and this is an engine that Volkswagen used forever. Very reliable. But as you can see, everything is in excellent shape, running great. Like I said too, this one does actually have hydraulic power steering, which is very nice compared to the uh, 2.5 Jetta's uh, electric power steering. Go ahead and close that. And your typical Volkswagen 2-liter engine note. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. And just cut the vehicle off right here. Cut the headlights off. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.